Hey guys, I don't usually make videos like this, but I've been playing a lot of this game and since it's basically a game about sharing stuff, here are some tips that are definitely going to make you enjoy your time with the game even more. Take a look at everything I'll be going over. There will be a few gameplay spoilers, but probably nothing you haven't already seen in any coverage of this game. And a quick note before I start, feel free to check out the other videos on the channel and please subscribe if you enjoy them. I'll be posting a video later on my thoughts on the game, so make sure to check it out. Okay, number one, don't get obsessed over cargo. Throughout the game, you will run into lost cargo scattered across the landscape at all times. You're incentivized to pick these up and deliver them for bonus points, but that might not be in your best interest. Take into account what you're carrying and where you're going. Chances are you're already pushing the limits and any additional cargo can turn into a literal tipping point. The more cargo you have, the more difficult everything becomes in the game, so don't feel obliged to pick anything up. However, if you do, you can easily see how big the package is and where it needs to go, so it's easy to decide if it's worth the extra effort or not. More often than not, you already have your hands, or rather your back, full, and you can always pick whatever is out there later if you want to help out other people and get some extra rewards. Number two, take it slow. A lot of people are saying this is a walking simulator. It isn't, it's a trekking simulator. And as such, how you traverse the terrain is massively important. You can scan the terrain to see what you can trip over, but other than checking for the depth of a river, it's pretty obvious. If you walk around like you would in real life, things will get much easier. So don't go running downhill if you're carrying a lot of stuff in your back and the place is full of rocks. Don't take as much stuff as you can possibly carry if you're going to climb a steep mountain. Don't try and cross a river at its widest point. If you just use common sense, things will get much easier. Number three. Mind your equipment and plan your route. Whenever you're picking a mission, make sure to check your map and plot how you're going to get to the destination. Press down on the trackpad and tilt your controller to get a better view of the elevation. It's actually very awkward, but it really helps to see if you'll be traversing any steep terrain. And if you are going to encounter steep terrain, make sure to bring a ladder or two and one climbing anchor. I can't overstate how useful these can be. Also, don't use ladders on rivers, it's almost always useless. As soon as you have access to them, take repair spray. You will almost always encounter rain, especially on main missions, so after you've gone through it and ideally right before you make your delivery, spray cargo with your repair spray to get it into mint condition. You can do this by aiming with L2 and then pressing square to aim at your back, then use R2 to spray. If you're carrying a lot of stuff on your arms and legs, it might be better to offload them and spray them on the ground. Number four, don't overdo it. It's easy to take too many quests at once and end up with a literal tower of stuff on your back. Try not to take more than you can handle and check sizes, weights and destination and take them into account before heading out. Traveling with only 60% of your maximum load will make your life much easier and, in my opinion, it makes the game much more enjoyable overall. You can even scout ahead and pre-visit locations carrying little to no cargo. This will enable you to place any ladders, ropes and bridges that you might deem necessary for later trips. Number 5. Ditch the trike. Early in the game you will find a reverse strike which will seem like a godsend. You'll be flying through terrain and you'll want to use it every single time that you go out. Well, don't. Ditch the trike whenever you reach a BT area because they will take your bike out and also catch you. Also, don't carry anything in the bike that you can't take on your back in case that you need to go on foot. It's easy to get carried away and load it up with as much stuff as you can but more often than not, you will have to continue on foot to complete a delivery, so keep that in mind. Number six, take a generator with you. There's one piece of equipment that's always a good idea to have on your bike or your vehicle, and that's PCCs. PCCs will allow you to build stuff like bridges and post boxes, but more importantly, power generators. Put one on your bike and you'll never have to worry about running out of juice. 
Number 7. Taking out mules. As you might already know, if you see small yellow posts on the ground, it means you're near a mule camp. As soon as you enter the perimeter, you will get scanned and any nearby mules will attack you and try and take your cargo. So this is actually very simple. If you're carrying too much stuff, unload everything you have and just leave it outside the perimeter. You can then cross, take out any nearby mules and then go back for your cargo and carry on. You can also build a post box near the edge to store stuff, which is something other players will greatly appreciate. Number 8. Hematic Grenades The other enemy besides Mule that you'll find while traversing the world is BTs. You can get past BTs using stealth, but moving slowly means staying longer in the rain, making your cargo take more and more damage. There's a much, much easier way of making it through a BT infested area. Hematic Grenades you get access to these pretty early in the game and they can be used to destroy any BTs that you encounter. You should always carry two cases and one or two blood packs. Each case houses five grenades so you can take out at least 10 BTs which will make your life much, much easier. They are also cheap to produce and very light so just crouch, walk the way you want to go and grenade any BTs standing in your way. Number 9 raid mule camps if you want to build roads and other resource heavy structures you'll need a lot of materials one way to get them is raiding mule camps just go in with a bola gun and take out every single mule in sight if you land a headshot you'll take them out in one shot otherwise you'll have to kick them when they're down to make sure that they don't get up again once you've cleared a camp you can load stuff onto their trucks and haul it wherever you want you won't be able to repair the truck though, so keep that in mind. And as I said earlier, you can take a PCC with you to recharge the truck if you need to. Number 10. Get to Chapter 3. I know you've probably seen this all over the place, but you get access to game-changing equipment in Chapter 3. So just don't go crazy trying to complete side quests and stuff in the early areas of the game. You'll get Just better and more meaningful rewards support, and you can but... fast travel back to the starting area later if you want to complete the earlier missions. This doesn't mean rush it or don't take your time, take as long as you want, but I'd advise against doing additional quests for extra points in the first two chapters of the game. Bonus time! This isn't necessarily a tip, but rather summarizing everything I said before, this is what I take with me when heading out in the game. One repair spray, two hematic grenades, two blood bags, one bola gun, one ladder, one climbing anchor, one PCC on the vehicle, and an extra pair of boots. It might sound like a lot, but most of this stuff weighs very little, so it won't affect you very much. If I have to ditch something, I usually go with my ladder or climbing anchor, depending on the terrain I'm going to encounter. Never, ever leave without hematic grenades or repair spray. And also, if you have equipment that's close to 50% damage, just recycle it and fabricate another one. Okay, so that'll be all. Thanks for watching. Leave your like and comment if you liked the video. And I'll catch you in the next one.